guys, welcome back to another Learner to Draw Weekly. It's been a while. If you haven't seen my new sketchbook tour, I explain why. And I'm not really going to go into it again. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of new stuff that I got and I wanted to show you and I just realized I put the lamp on the pile of books that I just bought. So that's fun. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. But um, I just bought these the other day. Let me get them in frame here. I have a whole new setup here if you guys are interested in that. But I bought a dipping pen, a calligraphy pen. I believe this is a G tip that's in it right now. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, I believe that's a G tip that's in there. I really love this tip and this is just a, a generic pencil holder I got at Michael's. Here are all the tips that I got with it that I don't ever use. I used a smaller one the other day and I didn't like it. So I use that dip pen a ton. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones I got. Kind of like a fine dip pen. I really love the, the bigger one better. I also have a ton of brushes that I got that I use with watercolors. Uh, some of them are starting to fray already. They were really cheap. I got them at Michael's 40% off, so that's fun. Uh, let me put all this back real quick. I also got a Pentel ink wash. This is a dark ink wash and not a gray. I ordered a gray on Amazon and it should be here in a couple of days, two days shipping. I don't know if I should get this before I left. This is a uh, 12 shades of drawing pencils. I've been using them a ton on my trip. I used them because I didn't bring all of my ink because I went on an airplane. Um, <laughs> we all know how bad that could have been. I also got two Copic refills because the blue and the gray were already out and I literally just bought them. So I don't know why that was. I bought them at uh, Michael's and Hobby Lobby. If you guys wanted to see my collection, these are Dick Blick or Blick Studio markers. All of these, this is the set I have. Filled in some of my Copic colors and these are my Copics. Some of the tap caps are dirty, like this one when I refilled it got all dirty, but I haven't been back long enough to clean them, so that's a thing. Uh, these are all the inks I bought with the dip pens. I bought this one. It's They're all speedball. They're all speedball inks. Uh, this is a speedball gold. If you can see it there, this is backwards. <laughs> it's like this. It's a speedball gold. Uh, this is a pen cleaner. Just got it just in case because I heard pens were finicky. And then this is just the black. I ordered some uh, Winsor & Newton inks, but they're not going to be in for another couple days. So I just bought them at Michael's. I had a 40% off coupon, so that was good. Okay, this light's going to move a little bit. I hope this doesn't weird anybody out. But I'm moving the lamp so I can get the books that are underneath. These are all books I bought in Washington and then I had to carry back with me on the plane. Can you imagine how fun that was, guys? <laughs> um, I bought these all at Barnes & Noble with no previous recommendations or anything. <laughs> I just bought them because I liked them. Uh, this one is called 5-Minute Sketching Architecture. I was really into sketching architecture when I was in Washington. I also made a trip to Boise and the architecture there was crazy cool and I wanted to try and sketch some of the houses. So this is uh, by Liz Steele. I don't find it helpful to, let me just show you a couple of the art. It's all the art is different artists here. I don't actually find it helpful as a how-to book. I find it more helpful as like a, oh you are stuck or have a problem or foreshortening issues or I just want to admire the art in it so I bought that book. So let's just flip through this a little bit. Find a couple more skylines. Her, the art in this book is crazy, crazy gorgeous. So there was just no way I couldn't pick it up. But like I said, it doesn't it hasn't really helped me as a how-to book. It's more helped me as wow that's beautiful and it's more inspirational, I would say. Um <laughs> I got this book in Barnes and Noble, same all with all these books, and I've really been having trouble with human proportions, if you guys did not know. So I looked through a lot of human proportions book, and this is the one I liked the art style in the most. 
Uh, so it's called Drawing with Christopher Hart, Figure It Out, Human Proportions. I haven't used this book much yet. I used the other books in architecture more when I was on my trip because I was drawing architecture. So I haven't used it yet, but the art style is very, um, not completely hyper-real, which I hate hyper-realism. Uh, it's just not my favorite kind of art style. It looks very sketchy, and I just liked the art style in this a lot more than I liked the art style in any of the other books, especially the hyper-real ones, because <laughs> I just don't like the way that art style looks. So I picked one that I liked the art style in. I don't know how, once again, I don't know how, how well that book's gonna go, but if it goes well, I'll post later in another episode. Uh, this one's called Artist Sketchbook. There's a lot of stuff on watercolors in here, and I love watercolors. So, plus the art is beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that art. It's beautiful. So, I love this book, again, for the arts. And they have a lot of tips on, like, watercolor palettes and kits you can make for going out because I love architecture sculpting or sketching. And the art is just beautiful. Again, I didn't use it as a how-to book so much as I used it for inspiration on the art. Because I just love the way it looked. And the watercolor tips were really helpful. So that's that. That is by Kathy Johnson. Very nice book. This book is called The Art of Urban Sketching, Drawing and Location Around the World. Again, I did not find this for so much as a how-to book as opposed to a wow look how pretty all those drawings are because <laughs> the art really takes up most of the pages here and of course it gives you tips and it gives you things about the artists and where they were and that's just great it's all different artists it's not all the same they draw people. They do have tips on people and stops and stuff in here, but not nearly as much as you would need. I love this one. Look how many people they drew in that. That would take me years. Years <laughs> at this point. And by the time I was done with that picture, I would be the best people drawer ever. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that book. This book is by Gabriel Campra Campran Campran Rio. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. Uh, this book is really cute. It's called Freehand, Sketching Tips and Tricks, and it's by Helen Birch. Uh, again, I bought it for the art and not for any of the tips in it. It has, every, on every page, it has a picture. It tells you what it was done with and who the artist is. It tells you, like, what it's trying to teach you or what the subject of it is. Right here, I don't know if you can see, it's a little blurry in my camera. Focus. Okay, that's a little better. And then it gives you a little thing on the piece. So this is definitely inspirational. I just, some of the art in here is really pretty. Some of it is very like photographic and some of it is just, it's just amazing. And then it tells you what it's done in. So you know what they use to make it, which is nice. I liked this. There were a couple like this that I really fell in love with. That's a, that looks like a picture almost, yeah. But I love this one. This one's really cool. And they're all by different artists, again. All right, so let's get into my art here. Uh, I think I've really improved a lot <laughs> this month. I, I, I tried really hard and just, well guys, take a look. So the first picture I believe you've seen already, these are all from my aunt. My aunt did these. Uh, we were just trying out the watercolor pens that I had. This is just a really, really rough sketch. Um, basically, what I did in the next picture, I decided to take the tree out and move it. And it was just a really rough sketch to see where I wanted to put everything. I really want to try working on rough sketches because now I just jump into inking and I skip the sketching stage and I'm not nearly good enough to do that. So... This is pretty funny. I'm not going to tilt the book anymore. Just like, I don't know, tilt your head or something. Because um, I, I just don't want any more movement in this whole settlement here. But my aunt, my cousin actually, said something really funny about flying on uh, pterodactyl airlines. <laughs> and this is, this is what became of that. I, I sure, 
<laughs> I know, it's a silly joke, but I think it turned out pretty cool. So this was with gel pens. I actually found a whole bunch of gel pens from when I was younger. If you want to take a look here. These are all gel pens from when I was younger. My parents bought them for me when I was young. I really love gel pens. So I have all these different colors and stuff. So I drew all of this in gel pens, just straight gel pens, nothing else. Uh, just like a Pokemon thing because I had all the different colors. So I drew Mewtwo, Piplup, Chikorita. I didn't draw her neck things though. That'll bother me. Pikachu, Ghastly, and then a Pokeball. So <laughs> I just do that for fun. I don't know what this guy's doing, but I tend to draw people like that now because I'm not good with the anatomy of the knee around that area. So I've been drawing a lot of kneeling people lately. Uh, again, this girl was drawn in uh, gel pens. You can see her crazy colored hair is a result of gel pens. So that's fun. And then I like her little shoes. This was pretty fun. I posted this on Twitter. I really like this. I think I might actually put it up on a shop somewhere. I've been looking into maybe putting some of my stuff up on Redbottable. I'm not sure I'm good enough for that yet. Uh, but I really like this piece and I think other people will like it too. So that might appear on Redbubble eventually. <laughs> Cause I really like that piece. Um, again, I did a lot of crazy gel pens. I just wanted to see what effects I could get with the gel pens. Her hat is like not on, it's like floating. It's supposed to be spinning. It didn't turn out that great, but I liked, I liked her, her eyes were, the shading was really pretty and I liked the effects the gel pens made. This is also really cool. I really like this. It's like a beachy type uh, pattern almost. I feel like this would be really good on something. I might just put it up to get it on like a bag or something because it's really beachy and cool and I really like it. So this is a sketch. I don't think you can barely see it. I was on the plane and I was trying to get a view out the window and I decided not to draw it anymore because the colors really leak through. This is a panda design. It's not done. <laughs> Obviously I gave up halfway through because I just didn't like the way they were angled and I was supposed to be using this ruler and as you can see it didn't do it that well because I couldn't find my ruler so I have my ruler now and this whole new desk setup thing that's happening. This is really cute. I really want to put this on something. <laughs> I know that's really strange. I feel like I want to just put it on like a vinyl patch on like a bag because I really like it. It's like a cute little and then there's like a little bamboo inside the, the bottle. I just, I adore that. <laughs> I, I think that turned out really well. Some things turned out really well and that's all right with me. So this I did on the plane. I only brought two Kovics. I brought the, no, I brought three Kovics. I bought a blue, a pink and like a skin color with me on this trip. So that was all the colors I really had. And this was the site outside the window. It was a lot of low hanging clouds. And then there was a skyline and then the sun was setting. So I really liked the way that looked. I don't like the way the picture came out actually. Uh, if any of you guys do, let me know down in the description below. Or down in the description, down in the comments. I've, it's been a really long time since I talked to you guys. How, how? <laughs> Hi, how are you? I've forgotten how to speak on camera apparently. Uh, so if you like this, let me know. I'm not too fond of it, but I think it turned out as well as it could have. Uh, this was really cool. I sketched this on the plane as well. Just a little warehouse. I got like little mannequins and little heads and like a little lamp and like an aisle thing here. It's just kind of like a uh, weird thing. Now this, if you guys know, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location came out and I decided I wanted to try and draw an animatronic by myself and I did. <laughs> it's like a little doggy frog thing and it's kind of creepy and I think it fits sister location really well. So that was just for Halloween. I have a lot of Halloween drawings in here. This is an unfinished building. I did it wrong and I, I screwed up. I screwed up there. Uh, Halloween cat. <laughs> Do you guys let, like cats? I love cats. I didn't erase the, the lines because it's not a finished product. It's just very sketchy. And then I did lines over it. This I really like was all done in pencil and is a bunny stuffed animal that um, I have. And I don't know, I think it turned out really well, surprisingly, but it doesn't look furry. I didn't take that extra step. So that's the thing. I think it turned out really well. 
This is a cool Halloween sketch I did with different kinds of pencils. This was a harder pencil and then softer as I went down. It's supposed to be like a creepy looking through the window outside kind of Halloween picture and I think it turned out pretty well. Shading and the, the pencil is actually ghosting a little bit. I think it's all over my hands. <laughs> Uh, this was just still life. I was drawing, we have a lamp on a, a stool in uh, Washington and that's that's what I drew. Lamp on a stool. I drew real life. If you guys have ever seen any of the Miyazaki famed movies, this is Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. I watched the movie almost, I think, I think October like 11th or something and I decided to draw Kiki but I didn't have any of her colors so I just left her blank and I filled in some black and stuff. So she looks pretty cute. Her hair is a little messed up. And you know what, that's fine. It was just a quick little ink sketch that I enjoyed. This was cool. I did a pen only challenge and it was done with this Sakura brush pen. Let me get my brush pen right here. This is my little case, if you guys didn't know. This was all done without any sketching with only the Sakura brush pen here. You guys can see. So yeah, this was all done with that. It's one of the architecture. It's actually a house. Uh, the columns here are a little weird. I really need to figure out how to do foreshortening and space, really, because the space is a little wonky. The focus is a little wonky. But for a pen, for a pen only challenge with no sketching and no erasing or anything, I think it turned out really well. This not so much. This is a pen only challenge with a Copic. I used a Copic Multiliner, the 1.0. This is the Copic here. It's really hard to see. I might have to move the camera eventually. But um, this is also another house, but it didn't turn out nearly as well. There are way too many lines. I didn't know how to really keep the lines to themselves. I just went crazy with lines and then just messed it up. So this is a Bioshock watch that I did. I wrote in the in the thing here just in case I forgot. But um, if you guys have ever played the new Bioshocks, Bioshock Infinite, there's always a lighthouse, there's always a man, there's always a city. So I drew Infinite up here and Rapture down here and then the lighthouse and the little thing. I will probably end up coloring this. I just got back, I think maybe two, three days ago. So this isn't colored or even erased yet, but I drew this a long time ago and I wanted to have the correct colors. I'll probably do it in watercolor. I really, really want to finish this as like a really cool Bioshock homage and raptures down here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> I didn't want to add too much of each city in. Uh, this was a little freaky. I had a picture of like a boy hugging a dog. Almost and it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to so I just I just left it all together It's a very sketchy This was kind of cool. It's like a little witch girl. I had just watched Hocus Pocus. So that's why that is This okay, so if you guys don't watch Jazza draws um, I'll leave I'll link his channel down below He ha he's having a challenge a Pokemon mashup challenge if you guys want to enter that Go, go look at his channel. I, like I said, the link's in the description below. He's great. He does a lot of digital art. He does a lot of streams on Adobe. He's really, really good. So I decided this is not going to be entered <laughs> because I feel like it actually breaks some of the rules. But um, it's the top 10 most popular Pokemon. I googled what the most popular Pokemon, Pokemon were, the top 10. So I combined all top 10 together. So it's Garchomp, Rayquaza, Lugio, Blaziken, Gengar, Eevee, Lucario, Mewtwo, Charizard, and Pikachu. Uh, if you look really closely, you can see all 10 Pokemon in this little picture here. So um, <laughs> that was really fun. It was really weird and quirky kind of thing to do. And I just wanted to do it because he had that video up and I saw it and I was like, okay. And that's what I'll do. I actually think it breaks some of the rules, otherwise I would post it. So, that's it. Uh, this is when I got my dip pen. This is the gold here. This is me just playing around with this little... I love doing like half bodies like this. You'll see in my iPad, I'm actually gonna bring my iPad here out here in a minute. I did a lot of painting on my iPad when I was away. And I really love this, uh, doing this kind of frame here with just like a skirt and a different pattern every time. 
I also did it like this way down here. I don't know if you can see it's a little. Okay. And then this was just watercolors. I felt like I hadn't drawn watercolors in a long time. So I said happiness is and then I drew a beach down here with some sharks. Uh, this again was just, I'm really looking to try and find like do a symmetrical pattern. So I'm working on, on trying to get symmetrical things down and this just didn't cut it, but I think it looks pretty. I'm, I, I don't know why, but it's really hard for me to draw flowers. <laughs> I can draw people and like places, but not flowers. Uh, this is another architecture type thing. I get most of these pictures from Zillow and this house really spoke to me. I really like the way it looks. But the overhang here doesn't look like an overhang. It looks like it's actually going up on the house. I don't know how that turned out that way. It just, that's a, exactly how it looks in the picture too, but it's an overhang in the picture and it's just not on mine. So I don't know why that is. I didn't bother erasing. I just went over with some aquash and uh, inked it with the ink pen, the dip pen. This is cool. Kind of reminds me of, um, of God, what is that game? I don't remember what that game is called, but uh, it's like a very washed out. This is all done in pencil and then I just added color to it. So I, I kind of wanted to have that really drowned out looking girl with color all around her and on her stuff, but not her. Kind of like an already thing. This is a pen only doodle challenge. Uh, like I said, I didn't sketch any of these. I just did it with a dip pen and um, I was kind of getting used to it. I really like that key. Like I said, I did it with a dip pen, so I was like, oh, let's draw a dip pen. <laughs> uh, this eye is really cool. It's a cigarette burning. Little top hat on the bottom here. Yeah, it's just a pen only challenge. So this is really cool. I, I really tried to not color everything in because I wanted the shapes to stay. But this is like one of my last Halloween stuff. Just a figure in front of this girl in a red cloak. Uh, there's another picture in here with a girl in a red cloak. I really enjoy. I'm thinking of making a story about her because <laughs> I love girls in red cloaks and it's not Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, this is just a chibi kind of Chinese character, which is a stereotypical Chinese character that uh, upsets anyone. <laughs> um, her eye has like a little ring in it. And I wanted to try doing something weird with the eyes and she's got little ballet slippers on. Again, all done in a dip pen. I'm really enjoying the dip pen right now. This my pen glopped this morning, so I got I did those the day that I got the dip pen, and these I did today, this morning, and it glopped a little bit, almost like there was paper or something stuck in it, so I sat it in the pen cleaner for a while, and it actually stopped doing this, but this is, um, from, uh, Tanaka Kun is always listless, and I'm pretty sure this is, I think her name is Sumugi, um, not Sumugi, Sumugi's from... But it's, this is the little girl in that show, and she's drooling because he's sleeping. <laughs> I think that's cute. But I'm really upset the the dip pen glopped. If you see the big glops here, I was just inking, and it got all over the place. But I again, I didn't sketch these. I just did it in dip pen. I did not sketch at all, so that was fun. I just wanted to do a little Tanaka Kun is always listening so much. Okay, so this painting. <laughs> If you guys like this painting, I'm probably gonna put it on Redbubble. This might be my first Redbubble thing. I really, really, truly love this painting. Um, this is actually all done in Copics, even though it doesn't look like it. It's a snowy mountain area with this girl in a red cloak. Um, I really like the way she I did her face, actually. I don't know if I can get this up to the camera. You just see her face. Her face is so detailed, I really love this painting. <laughs> like, I feel like I haven't drawn this well ever, so I, I really love it. If you guys love it too, let me know, leave me a like. I love this painting. <laughs> I feel like I've worked for three months just to create this painting. So, um, I really enjoyed that. And that's it in this sketchbook. Let me go, that was done today, actually, that picture. You guys can see my legs because of the staples glass. But um, let me just bring out, there's one more thing. I bought a sketchbook that's bigger. If you guys see, this is my normal sketchbook. I filled three of these already. Um, and this is the sketchbook that I'm drawing with. Now it's just a bigger sketchbook. I wanted to try drawing in something bigger. 
And this is the picture I have started. This is this is a work in progress. Uh, I sketched it and then as you can see the sketch lines are still there. This is all done in dip pen. All of this is done in dip pen. I'm going to take the background that I did on that previous drawing and put it here. Like a snowy kind of tree thing. I, I felt like it would be fun to show you guys just one of my works in progress because I, I never do that. I've never done that on this channel so this is a work in progress. I don't know if it'll turn out well but I plan on drawing like these big snowy trees behind this wolf here uh, or a really fluffy dog <laughs> however you interpret it uh so i'll be right back i'm gonna go get my ipad okay i'm back uh, i think the the uh coloring is nice let me turn this off here and move this back a little bit see if that light will change but uh anyway these are all stuff that i did on my iPad with the Apple Pencil. I don't know if I showed you any of this before I left. Some of these are terrible, some of these are before I left, and some of these are not before I left. Sorry, I'm moving the camera again. Breaking all the rules. I told myself I wouldn't do that. Okay. So, let me get the brightness up. Those were not done by me, those were in there. So I drew this girl, I don't know if you guys saw that. This is all before I left. And this one. I don't want to show anybody of that. That's kind of like the symbol that I've been drawing since I was a little kid. Um, these are all based on Japanese folklore. This one's called the Great Oak. So these couple are. Um, this is uh, Magic or Melon Magic. I used all these Japanese folk tales as stuff. This is a little comic I drew. It's not very good. It's not finished. I just drew it really quickly. Um, so this is a dog we have, um, my aunt has named Butters. <laughs> uh, she is drinking and she has a metal bowl and one of those chain neck pieces on. And it's digging against the, the cup there, the, the glass. She found out it dung and it dings and now she dings it deliberately against the bowl. <laughs> And then she annoys the humans in the room, but is very happy. <laughs> so that's just a little comic I drew. Um, let's see what else. This is based on the Sparrow's Gift. Like I said, really rough drawing. I just wanted to do something like fun and different. Uh, these are terrible. <laughs> these are all before I left. These are all bad. Um, okay, they get better. <laughs> uh, so this is, like I said, I really like drawing that center body here just that that camera got out because of course it did but i really like drawing neck to base i just don't know why but i really like doing that and then i used some of the textured brushes to make it really interesting uh this is a statue that i saw in idaho so there's that it's a little rooster with a little baby rooster uh yeah i think it turned out pretty good it's all done in pencil or what is pencil equivalent to pencil that is a blank page with a line on it. <laughs> this was kind of me. My hair is not really brown. It's more of like a blackish brown. But I was wearing this cool sweatshirt and I really wanted to try out more textures. So I did. It's like a yarn sweatshirt. And my eyes are not that color, but they're beautiful. I flew to Idaho from Washington. So this is the two, pal two seat prop, prop plane or propeller plane that I flew on and I just kind of wanted, I was really inspired <laughs> on my flight back and I was like, oh, I'm going to draw the, the flight cabin here. Uh, this girl's real ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I just drew her really quickly and she's real ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl, you ugly. Uh, this is really cool. This landscape was done on my way back from Washington as we were flying over the mountains on the airplane and I just, I really like this painting. Uh, I don't know how it turned out this good. I don't know what I did. All of a sudden it's like my, my paintings leaped a little bit, but I really like the sky and the clouds and the mountains in the distance. So I really like that. I also did this. I watched Twister on my way home <laughs> on the plane. If you guys have Amazon video, it's great. You can download your videos and watch them on the plane. Uh, so I did. <laughs> This is what became of that. <laughs> it's just a twister coming for this one tree and this tree's like, oh no! So, uh, yeah. That's, that's it. That's all I drew. So I hope you guys enjoyed my whole month of just 
craziness. Um, I hope you guys are excited to come back next week and see me finish this drawing. Let me move the, the lamp back here. Uh, I'm going to show this next week. It's probably going to be done. I don't know if I'm going to do in watercolors or Copics. I did the other one in Copics, and I don't know if I'm going to do this one in Copics. I'm going to do it in watercolors. I am so excited, guys. So next week I will have this picture, and I'll definitely have more. I've really, I feel like I've really been getting a lot better, and I hope you guys think so too. So I will see you guys next week for more Learn to Draw Weekly. Consistent updates. I can't... <laughs> <laughs> things pointed down. This is, that's a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, consistent updates from now on every single Friday. I post on my other channel every Monday and Wednesday if you guys want to go over there. I post Overwatch and gaming videos and you'll see my face and me playing whatever game I'm playing and that's really fun. I also have a Twitter where I post updates if you guys missed me and had no idea where I went. Go follow me on Twitter. I very rarely post so I will not mess your feed up or anything. I don't post consecutively or anything. I mostly retweet and tweet about what's happening on my channel. So again, go down there and follow me below. And I will see you guys next week for learn more Learn and Draw Weekly. Really excited about this series. I think I'm doing really well. I hope you guys think so too. Bye!